Hi everyone, how are you? Renee here, welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome to this pick a card reading. Now for this reading, we're gonna cover the next 10 days. So this is gonna be for the time period roughly from August 10th to about the 20th. All you need to do is choose one of these three cards. So which card do you feel drawn to right now? Is it the red card of number one, the green one, number two, or the orange of number three. Once you have made your decision, you can look below at the timestamps, click on the time, and fast forward to your reading. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great mid-August. Hello, group one. So let's see what your first card is. You have this lovely red stone, and it is garnet and the root chakra. And the message here is that of security, to feel more secure, deepen your connection with nature, All right? So get outside, get into nature, take a walk, sit outside in the grass and just be, or meditate if you want to, or bird watch, or go searching for interesting butterflies or creatures or flowers. However you can do it, get outside, connect with nature, and that will help your root chakra, okay? And the stone is the red, lovely red garnet. So there's your first card. We're gonna draw a card from my deck, which by the way, is on sale for the full month of August for half off. So it's $27.50 free shipping if you're in the USA. So let's draw you a card from my deck and see what else I can tell you about the next 10 days or so, group one. All right, I like this one. And it is Jet, Conclusion, Death, and End. This is the card affiliated with the sign of Leo, which is interesting because we're in the sign of Leo right now, and we will be for the next 10 days. And Jet and Black is a color of that root chakra. So it's kind of like, it's about finishing something, the end of something, and preparing to start something new. Maybe finishing up things you wanted to get done or do this summer and you're preparing for the fall or the end of summer. Now let's get into the tarot. And let's see what else I can tell you. So it's interesting how your first two cards both do have to do with security and the root chakra. Jet is also a card of strength. You know, pulling on that strong lion courage and bravery found within the sign of Leo and wrapping things up and being brave and bold and knowing that new beginnings can be good. So let's see what else I can tell you with the tarot. We've got the world. Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Very strong cards to start out with. We've got the five in the middle there. Justice and the seven of cups. All right, so emotions, has to do with emotions. And yes, the world and the wheel of fortune both point to a new beginning that is positive, that is advantageous for you. This change is supposed to happen. This is the end of a cycle, see there's a kind of a circular ov ovular shape here and there's a circle obviously in the wheel um, but it is the completion of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle so that's kind of echoing what the jet card is telling you as well you're preparing for that there is a loss involved with this with the five of cups so let's draw on that and just see maybe we can get some specifics for some of you or um, different things that this could be possibly Okay. All right, loss. We got the hermit, the five. Yeah. So essentially, these can point to really any type of a change. It could be a change in your health, the status of your health that would take um, maybe more investigation and help from others or some kind of teamwork. This can also mean a change within your financial situation. And in that case, you definitely also want to get some help from other people, or this could echo, or this could mean,
teaching others or being taught or trained. And with the hermit, that could mean, you know, starting school, college, um, grad school, um, starting a new training program or something like that that has to do with your career, which inevitably or eventually will result in more money and more security. The hermit is about going within. It can also be about um, investigating, higher learning, that type of thing. So very interesting. There is a sense of loss here, but there's always a sense of loss when change occurs. Change is never easy. We all know this. It can be difficult, even if we're in kind of a cycle that isn't very happy or joyful. Still, change can be difficult, especially the older you get. So I think this card's just kind of signifying the feeling of loss of the past or the loss of time. But notice that two card, two cups are standing. Three are down, but two are still standing. So it's it's not a bad thing. It's just kind of, you know, reassuring you that whatever this change is, it's for the best. Just have faith. We've got justice here. So it says um, possibly there's something coming that involves contracts, documents, agreements. And along with the seven of cups, it means there could be a lot of opportunities for you or a lot of things for you to choose from, whether it's a new job or relocating or a new hobby. Um, for some of you, this could mean some type of legal situation or court case or whatever. And in that case, it would be maybe moving to the next level and allowing you to choose what you want to get out of it. I get the sense, though, that you are kind of in charge of what's happening here. You have a lot of choices. And it looks like you're going to be making the right choices, especially with the first two very advantageous cards. And even this last one. Let's just draw a few more cards and see if there's anything else I can tell you. All right, we've got two and the lovers. Wow, and the 10, I love that. So that's kind of bringing everything together here as far as like I was talking about health and or, and or finances with the coin cards here. And this is saying everything's gonna be fine, okay? And the lovers can be a card of choice. The original lovers card did show a person choosing between the two other people. So it can mean a card of choice. It's not necessarily romance, but some of you that it might indicate romance or a partner that's supporting you and helping you to balance this out, whether it's the finances, um, securing your future or your health. Also, it can mean someone supporting you in an area of making investments or making money choices um, about the further future where you have to get a, you know, a bunch of paperwork and you have to read through it and sign it and all of that stuff. So hopefully this helps you. Um, is there anything else I should tell you? Group one. Honestly, yeah, a lot of these have to do with security, especially the 10 of coins, feeling secure financially. So that seems to be a theme for you for the next 10 days, making choices, thinking about the further future and making sure that you are maybe healthy and financially secure and that your family is secure, your home is secure for the further future. And you've got a lot of things to choose from here, but don't be afraid to make the choices. All right, I hope this helps you and I hope you have a great mid-August. Bye. Hello, group two, how are you? So let's see what your first card is for the next 10 days. This lovely green stone and it is Malachite or Malachite affiliated with the heart chakra and it says forgiveness. You'll find freedom in forgiveness. That's going to be a theme for you for the next 10 days. Whether that freedom comes from you forgiving someone else or someone forgiving you or you forgiving yourself, know that there is freedom in that forgiveness. So let's draw a card from my deck, which is still on sale for the entire month of August. My deck will be half off, $27.50 free shipping within the US. Check it out, my Etsy shop link is below. We're gonna draw you a card from my deck and see what else we can get for you, group two. Okay, I like this one. 
and it is gold with prosperity, riches, and wealth. This card's pretty self-explanatory. It's all about prosperity, riches, and wealth. It's a good luck card. It's a, a fortunate card. So it looks like you may be very lucky or be feeling very secure financially, especially here in mid-August. So that's great. Gold is also affiliated with, you know, the root chakra, but also that solar plexus because of the yellow tone, which is your connection to other people. So let's see what we can get from the tarot, group two. We've got the six of swords, the death card, the four of cups, the six of wands, and the two of coins. All right. So let's take a look. Let's see what that six of swords is all about. And maybe it's tied into that ending with the death card. Okay, we've got the four and the star. So this is a big change. For a lot of you, this is a move. This is going away, moving away, going to school, moving for a career or a new job. It's a fortunate change. It's a positive change. The end of something and it's the beginning of something else that maybe you've been striving for. The star can be a wish card. It can mean fame, fortune, um, notoriety. And the four kind of signifies you've been very careful with your money in order to make this happen. So I would venture to say it's most likely this has to do with a move, a relocation of some sort. Or maybe you're moving out of, you know, your parents home or you're finally moving out on your own in a sense it looks very positive though this change that's coming we've got the four let's see what that's about there's an offer coming your way Ooh, it might not be bad what I always say with this card when it has to do with money is possibly maybe you have to come back with a counter offer like this could be a job offer and the salary isn't quite right and you might want to come back with a counter offer and there's definitely a happy medium reached where all parties are happy especially you because this shows you being very content with what the final thing is or whatever it is it's very content you're very content um for a few of you this might have to do with health this is someone offering to help you with your health or they're giving you some advice or some of their time and in that case same deal you're feeling better, you're feeling content, you're, you're feeling very stable, okay? If it does have to do with career, this is kind of showing you that there is room for growth and potential in this career that you're choosing, whether it's brand new or whether you've been going down this path for a while. It's kind of showing that you're going to reach a point, or you're, some of you might even be reaching this point this week where you're you're being seen as a leader in your field. Others are looking up to you, right? We've got the two there. Let's see what that's about. Pardon me sniffling. I have a little summer cold that I've been fighting. Okay. Let's do one more. Yeah. So this is kind of telling us this is the end of a struggle. This is the struggle you've been going through, maybe with finances or some kind of unforeseen change. It can be very dramatic, chaotic, unexpected has happened. Maybe you got laid off or fired. You're balancing the budget right now. But the ace here is the last card that I pulled is kind of promising you you're going to be fine. In time, you will be fine as far as money goes, so don't worry too much. Same goes with health. If you had a recent like um, happening or a flare-up or incident where your health was declining, this is showing um, balance and great improvement Okay, within this 10-day period and moving forward even a little further than that. 
probably going into September, there's improvement here. Some of you, that's finances. Maybe, like I said, you lost your job or whatever. Either or would apply. Whatever works for you, whatever applies to you, you take that and you leave the rest. Let's pull maybe one or two more tarot cards. And I love how we have the Ace of Coins and we've got the Gold card because... That's the card I had in mind when I created the gold card. was like, okay, here's your winnings, right? And we have this one on top as well. So definitely money is going to be okay. I can say that with some certainty. But we have, let's see what else. We've got a little bit of a struggle, but in what area? Okay, maybe emotional emotional struggle or some unforeseen challenge with documents contracts legal issues court cases anything like that there's a little bit of a struggle doesn't look devastating but just know that there will be a little bit of struggle and this card is kind of telling you you need to fight what you really believe in in this matter that might have to do with the legal system or the judicial system okay with that I hope this helps you group too, and I hope you have a great mid-August. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello, group three. How are you? I hope you're doing well. So let's see what your first card is. You have this lovely orange stone, and it is citrine, and we have the solar plexus chakra. And the message here is that of abundance. The world is abundant when you choose to see it that way all about abundance and seeing the world as being abundant and being grateful all right let's draw a card from my deck which is on sale it's going to be half off for the entire month of august 27.50 with free shipping within the u.s so check it out my etsy shop link is below we're going to draw a card from my deck right now for you group three So that solar plexus chakra is about personal power. It's also about our connections to other people. And in this case, it's the citrine and the message is that of abundance and seeing the world as opportunistic and abundant and just being optimistic overall, I would say. I mean, yellow is a very happy color. It's a very optimistic color. So yellow would probably be a really good color for you to utilize for the next, you know, 10 days or so. Let's see what else. I like this one. So we have moss with breeding, growth, and reproduction. Now let me put this down and I will show you how we've got, you know, the feminine and the masculine intertwined. And I do have the Empress card here on my moss goddess card for a reason because it is about fertility creativity breeding growth reproduction it can mean pregnancy um it can mean abundance in all in any way or always it can mean abundance because of the word growth here so it's going to be a little different for all of you but so far it looks like greens and yellows are your color for the next 10 days or so And let's get into the tarot and see what else I can see for you, group three. So yeah, it's about creative uh, growth, creativity in general, fertility, abundance. I think abundance is probably a key word for you this week, group three. Be aware of all the abundance around you. Even out in nature, I mean, this is moss green, so obviously it's a very natural color. Um, I would say, you know, go for a walk or a hike out in the greenery if you can, and just notice the plants, the flowers, the animals. We've got the nine of coins, the nine of swords, the six of cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Chariot, which is number eight. I think it's interesting how we do have, not in order, but we do have, you know, eight of the major arcana, and then nines, and then a ten. Um, just for me as a reader, 
I, I feel like that usually means that all of this that's happening is kind of divine planning. It's all in your master plan, your soul plan. This is all supposed to happen this way. Okay, so the first card is definitely, it's got that bright yellow, like the abundance card, that citrine. It is a card of abundance. It's a card of contentment and serenity and feeling safe and secure financially and also physically. We do have worry here with the nine of swords, but there's nothing to worry about. If you're worried about a relationship, there's nothing to worry about. We've got the ace of cups, the six of cups, and the ten of cups, which all point to a healthy relationship, happy family. If you're not in a relationship, it might mean someone coming back from the past. At the very least, it could mean you and your person rekindling something, you know, kind of relighting that fire that might have gone out because you've been together for a while. Um, but overall, it's very blissful here. So don't worry. It's the end of worry and anxiety and fear because love conquers all. Love is conquering this. Okay, we've got the chariot. And there's more emotions with that Queen of Cups. Moving forward, slaying your demons and your fears and your issues with relationships. So for you, Group 3, it's all about your emotions. It's all about a relationship or relationships. Maybe you're worried about if your kids will like your significant other or vice versa or they'll let their kids will like you because there seems to be some children involved. Or maybe you are getting married and you're worried about getting pregnant and it looks like that's a possibility with that fertility um, card here with the moss card. Um, it could mean children are coming in your future. But overall, it points to you not giving up, slaying your fears, okay? In this card, you are, you're beating or slaying your fears, your worry, anxiety that's over here with the nine. You're kind of trumping it and your person is helping you to do that or love in general that's around you is helping you to do that. There are loved ones around you. You need to know this, even if you're not in a relationship. There are loved ones in spirit, loved ones in the flesh who care deeply about you and who are going to help you to reach goals because the chariot is a victorious card. You are directing the chariot in the direction you wanna go. And you see how this person is just full face forward? That's you. You've got your eye on the prize and you're headed straight, straight towards it and nothing's going to stand in your way. Not even your own self, okay? Not even your own worst anxieties and fears. Um, and if you do have a problem with depression, anxiety, it looks like you are making an effort in some way, shape or form to feel much, much better as we move towards mid to late August, okay? So let's draw maybe just two more cards, but mostly for you, it's about um, a relation, a romantic relationship, soul relationships, familial relationships, maybe people coming to visit cousins, siblings who you haven't seen in a long time. Um, there's just abundance and your abundance more than anything. Group three has to do with your emotions. Your cup overfloweth with joy, with love, with gratitude. Let's draw like two more. Let's see. We've got a king of wands. We have a queen of cups here. All right. We've got a king of wands there. Whoops. And the two. So that's kind of both of you, I feel, if this is a relationship, you're looking forward into the future together. Someone might be a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, and someone might be fire, fire Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but you are doing it together. Um, whatever this is, whatever challenges come your way, there's, there's the love at the root of it that helps you to get through pretty much whatever's thrown in your way, group three. I hope this helps you. It looks, it looks like a very joyful time for you moving towards the 20th of August. So I wish you the best. See you next time.